Hi, welcome to the demo of the Intel Galileo running the NetLab Toolkit. What you see here is I'm turning the knob, and as I turn the knob, <clears throat> we're moving a servo, and we're increasing and decreasing the brightness of an LED, both of which are connected directly to the Galileo. So what we have here is the NetLab Toolkit running completely on the Galileo. So if we look over here, um, these widgets here um, each represent um, different parts of the Galileo. So the analog in is listening to the analog in, port 0. Um, the analog out is listening, is talking to port uh, 5 for the LED. And lastly, the servo widget um, is uh, talking to um, port 3 here. And so this is all running with no code at all. And as I say, is being served completely from the Intel Galileo. So you can see here, this is the IP address of the Galileo. These, this web page is served from there, and there's nothing else needed. So you could run this from a uh, computer, as I'm doing here, a tablet, or even a phone. Uh, this is a prototype version of these widgets um, that are fully functional. Ultimately, we're going to be converting these to uh, all the widgets in the NetLab Toolkit to HTML5, as you see here. All right, let me show you how this works. So I'm going to delete all the current widgets, and then I'll just add them back in one by one. So I take an analog in, and all I have to do is um, type in the IP address of the Galileo. Now, you may not know initially what IP address the Galileo gets, because it uh, gets it by DHCP. So we can go over here to the Arduino IDE for, for Galileo. And if we just open the monitor here, um, the way we have it set up is we already have some code running on the Arduino side of the Galileo. And if we just type in the Unix command if config and hit return, um, you can see here that here's the IP address. So without needing to get on the network, we can go th straight through the um, USB connection to get the Ethernet IP address. Um, one note here, be sure when you uh, set this up that you set this to new line, not no line. So new line here. Okay. So that's all we need to know. So now we can go back to the browser and in our controller IP, just paste in that address. And so now, uh, as soon as I connect, um, again, it's listening to the knob. Um, and as I turn it, you can see it, it reflects that. Um, but let's make this more interesting by hooking it up to some outputs. So we'll hook up the analog out. And you can see it's already automatically listening to this uh, first analog in. So we'll, again, set up the parameters. Uh, I'm going to set that to port 5, and then the IP address. And that's all I need to do. And uh, as soon as I hit this Connect button here now, again, you can see that I'm controlling the, the brightness of the LED there. OK, and let, now let's add the uh, servo widget. So we click on Servo Out here, and uh, just position this over here. And again, set the IP address, and it's got the, uh, the port number that we're connected to by default. So we just do that, and then we connect. And as you can see, the servo and the LED are now both responding to the input of the knob. Uh, a few other features here I can add both smoothing and easing um, to condition the signal coming in from the Galileo so um, that we can get a more kind of um, smooth operation. So that use those as necessary. OK, so that's the demo here. Um, one thing I want to note is that in the future, you'll be able to save out the settings of this from the browser, and it'll be stored on the Galileo. And then you won't need to run the browser at all. So uh, whatever settings you had set up um, in the visual environment will then be stored and just run automatically in a headless format that is without the browser. All right, thanks for listening. Bye-bye.